This tiny berry holds over four times more antioxidants than a common blueberry and costs 34 times more. Bilberries, or Nordic wild blueberries, are sweet purple berries that grow wild in the forests of Nordic countries. But bilberries are very fragile. After just two days off the bush, their nutritional value begins to fade. To ensure the tiny berries hold on to their precious antioxidants, companies in Finland spend entire days sorting and freezing them at precise temperatures. That's because bilberries are highly sought after in the health food industry, where they're sold in the form of juices or supplements that can reach over $200 per kilogram. So what makes these tiny berries so nutritious and why are they so expensive? Bilberries are found in Nordic climates across the world, but only in Nordic countries are they harvested commercially. In Finland, so many bilberries grow in the wild that there's little need to cultivate blueberries on farms. Bilberries here are simply known as mustikat or blueberries. We have different kind of blueberries. The ones we have in Finland that grow wild in the forest is called Vaccinium myrtillus. They have a blue outside and then they are purple inside. Amanda is a third generation bilberry producer. When you go to the supermarket and you buy blueberries fresh, you will have the bigger blueberries with the white inside. And the white blueberries are not as tasty as the wild berries. While farmed blueberry plants can reach two meters tall, bilberry plants are very small. They can reach a maximum of only 40 centimeters in height. So harvesting the berries by hand is the only option. The bilberries are harvested by hand or like with the picking tools because the soil where they pick the bilberries is very uh, uneven. So you can't have machines going because they can't go forward. So they have to walk to find the berries. To harvest bilberries, workers use this specialized rake. It's designed to collect the berries without uprooting the bushes. It also has a long handle, so workers can reach the bushes without leaning down. But the berries are so tiny that keeping a safe distance is not always possible. Getting closer to the bushes also exposes workers to mosquitoes in the forest. They are not allowed to use mosquito spray because it will be stuck on the bilberries. So they use the face masks to cover themselves so that they don't have mosquito bites and other insects. An experienced picker will harvest one kilogram of berries in just 10 minutes. If the crop is good, each worker can collect over 100 kilograms in a single day. Professional pickers are seasonal workers. They are usually rice farmers from Thailand who come to Finland during the bilberry season. The bilberry season in Finland coincides with the monsoon season in Thailand, the off-season for rice farming. Bilberries need moist soil, so the best picking spots are close to water, either lakes or the sea. And where the trees aren't too close together, so the bushes have space to grow. It's a very nice bilberry bush. Very sweet. Very nice. The size of the bilberries is heavily dependent on the weather. While farmed blueberries are watered more regularly, wild bilberries rely on rainwater. The more you have rain and maybe heat, the bigger the bilberries will be. But like last season, we had almost no rain for a period of time. And the bilberries here in the southern parts of Finland, they were so, so, so small because they had not enough water. And if it's raining a lot, it's harder to pick because the leaves will, will be stuck on the berries because it's so wet. Because of the delicate balance between rain, sunlight and the forest ecosystem, bilberries can't be farmed. The nature is more rough than if you farm it. So when you farm it, you have more control over, you know, watering and maybe pollination and everything. But when it's grown in the wild like this, you have no power over how much it will be raining or, or how much uh, insects there will be pollinating the bilberries. When they are unripe, they are sour, but the more ripe they become, the sweeter the taste. 
It's quite insane how big they are. In the Finnish market, the minute they are picked from the bush, the berries are worth 8 euros per kilogram, but they'll be worth 10 euros per kilogram later, once frozen. This is because bilberries are very fragile. They only stay fresh for a couple of days. After that, their nutrients begin to fade and they slowly lose their value. And while the picking season lasts only a couple of months, bilberries are extremely valuable to Amanda and her family company. They represent 50% of the business for an entire year. It's very important that you have the right equipment and that transportation is working because if you just wait one day too long, you won't be able to use the bilberries. So it's very important that the transportation chain is working so that you will have the bilberries processed and frozen as soon as possible. Keeping the berries fresh comes at a cost and takes time. From the day they are picked in the forest, they will spend seven to nine days in the processing facility. Once the pallets with the bilberries arrive, they are weighed and frozen at minus 40 degrees Celsius for two days. It's called individual quick freezing. If you clean the berries first, they are so soft, so they will be destroyed. After freezing, they are emptied into bigger containers that can hold up to 700 kilograms. They'll then be stored in a warehouse at minus 18 to minus 20 degrees Celsius until a customer places an order. It's crucial that the bilberries stay frozen at all stages. Even a slight rise in temperature would spoil them. When everything has to be in temperatures like minus 18 to minus 20 degrees, it's a big cost to keep these temperatures and that will affect the price. The customer knows when they want the berries to be delivered so they are cleaned according to the delivery schedule. A blower removes the leaves, sticks and stones, as well as other types of berries caught in the batch. Bilberries have very small stems, which are extremely hard to remove. Amanda's company developed a machine just for this one step. The berries are frozen at minus 30 degrees, an even lower temperature than the one they're stored at. This allows the stem to come off easily, without damaging the berry, before going back to minus 18 to minus 20 degrees. Then the berries are sorted by size and graded into first class and second class bilberries. The final check before packaging is done by eye. Amanda's company processes 2 million to 4 million kilograms of bilberries a year. It exports 60% of its total crop to Asia, where bilberries have experienced a surge in popularity in the form of supplements. Companies like Amanda's export first-class bilberries abroad because they're more profitable. Second-class bilberries stay in Finland, where they're turned into juices and other products. From the bilberries, we produce two different types of products. Uh, the mustika keita, which is uh, basically a soup. It's, it's not a hot soup, but it's a very traditional Finnish product. And then uh, we also make uh, bilberry juice. Marina's company processes 500 tons of frozen bilberries every year. While it takes one day to squeeze them and turn them into juice, for local customers, bilberry juice is still cheaper than fresh or frozen bilberries. Bilberries contain more than four times the antioxidants of farmed blueberries, which gives them a note of tartness. They are particularly rich in anthocyanin, an antioxidant responsible for their dark colour. These high levels of anthocyanin are due to the climate in which the berries grow. Low temperatures and darkness in the winter, and long exposure to sunlight in the summer. The high levels of antioxidants have made the tiny bilberry a big player in the health and alternative medicine industries. Bilberries have been linked with exaggerated claims like improving night vision, making people smarter, and even curing cancer. While there is insufficient scientific evidence to support these claims, the demand for Nordic bilberries is still growing. In just 10 years, from 2001 to 2010, the value of bilberry exports tripled to $370 million. The recent war in Ukraine has also played a role in increasing the demand for Nordic bilberries. Before the war, Ukraine supplied around 20 million kilos of bilberries for the food industry in Europe. With the supply chain broken, people have turned to Nordic bilberries. So far, it looks like the forests are keeping up with demand. In fact, 
there's no shortage of berries in Finland. An estimated 500 million kilograms of berries grow each year in the Finnish forests, between bilberries and others like lingonberries. Of the total bilberry yield in the forest, only about 3% to 10% is picked and processed. The Finnish government even encourages bilberry picking. Anyone can pick bilberries in the forest with no license at any time, and members of the public can then sell them to local markets tax-free. And I think Finnish people, they are very careful with the forests, you know, it's, it's a safe haven for them. We love the nature and we take care of it, we don't trash, we don't litter, you know, we, we take care of the forest. Imagine we have this just growing wild in the forest and that everyone is free to pick them. It's a luxury.